Hello, everyone. I'm back home, so I thought I'd uh, make a video on flip-flop circuits. Everything's going well, by the way. This is a diagram of an NPN flip-flop, and this is a diagram of a PNP flip-flop. The difference is the polarity. The NPN is a negative ground, positive power supply, and the PNP is a negative power supply and a positive ground. And I'm mainly going to go through the NPN because, like I said, the only difference is, is polarity. So I've got a video here that we can see the operation of these two flip-flops. I want to <clears throat> show the operation of these two flip-flops. Turn off power here. Okay, they both happen to come on on the left side, which is um, purely an accident. And here's the trigger. This is the NPN transistors. And here I'm going to short out that resistor. And you can see that it flipped over. Okay, here's the PNP, positive ground, same operation. The difference is this is a positive ground and the NPN is a negative ground. I've got the scoped hookup to the NPN flip-flop and I've got the scope on the base of the left transistor and I'm going to trigger it by shorting out the resistor and when I let go Now I'm going to let go, we get a negative pulse. Now I'm going to move the scope to the PNP. And the left transistor is on, and to turn that off, we're going to need a positive pulse. So here I'm going to short out that 200 ohm resistor and let go. Okay, now I'm going to let go and we get a positive pulse turning off that PNP transistor. Here's the diagram of that NPN flip-flop. And if you take a look at the 200 ohm resistor, we've got a switch across that and that's what I was operating. And if I close the switch like that, what happens is the capacitor on the left side starts to charge. It's the one where the transistor is actually on because that EB junction is pretty much a dead short. So that 10 microfarad capacitor charges a little more. Now when I open up that switch, a lot happens here. As we saw in the video, 
we got a negative pulse, and that is coming from that 10 microfarad capacitor. And it's a, enough of a negative pulse that it turns off that NPN transistor. Now, when that happens, at the collector of that transistor, we've got positive voltage now that goes over and up the 10K resistor on the right side, turning on the other transistor. Now, if I don't do anything else, it just stays like it is. But if I close that switch again, well, the other capacitor is now charging a little more. And, of course, it's going to have a negative charge. And when I open up that switch, that capacitor discharges, putting a negative pulse on the base of that transistor, turning it off. And now we've got positive voltage at the collector that goes over and up the 10K ohm resistor to the base of the left transistor, turning it on. And this circuit just flip-flops back and forth. I'll let this run for a little bit. Now the trick to building these is parts on each side have got to be closely matched. In other words, the even the beta of the transistors, uh, in this case it's a 2N6488, there are about 97 beta was uh, the ones that I've got for each side. And like the 10K ohm, it's got to be matched. And so do the diodes. They got to be the same type of diodes. Thanks for watching.